the YouTube channel today is giving a sample paper flavor to the students who will appear in the AKU test on the 21st July. We have taken this from the Google uh, resources and this is basically a Aga Khan guideline and test paper. So you can see the name of the Aga Khan is there, sample test paper is there and graduate program and this is focusing on the English section on the quantitative section and critical thinking section. The science section is not covered in this test paper. So the instructions of the Aga Khan University is a sophisticated uh, test. Uh, English test is a sophisticated test of the grammar and vocabulary in academic context. The test uh, consists of five subsections to be completed in one hour. Candidate may log on to may log on to this is a website. They have given English language testing.co.uk for additional practice test. Please read the following instructions. So we are now basically in the test side. Attempt all question, mark only one answer to the each MCQ. No credit will be given for multiple answers. And mind it, there is no negative marking in this section. The negative marking is in the science section. So there are five subsections in this question paper. And they have one, two, three, four. And there is a question numbers. The university, the actual question is, the university expects honesty from applicants and dishonest behavior during the test or violation of instruction will result in irrevocable disqualification of the applicant from entering the selection process. So if you will manipulate or do anything. So now coming to the first question. The question is Choose the correct answer A, B or C and mark them on the answer sheet. Look at the example below. Choose the best word to complete the space. So it is basically fill in the blank question. Uh, uh, asking for a pen. Student A, do you have a pen? Student B, yes, there dash a pen in my hand. So what is the correct answer here is A is the correct answer as per the P of this uh, section. Uh, then we are moving to the question number 2. Uh, question number 2 says that uh, in the university has very heavily in teaching and learning facilities dash to ensure that we offer modern high quality environment in which our students can live and study happily. So the space is fasted, invested, spent is the first answer. Uh, is the invested. The university has invested very heavily. So invested is the correct fill in the blank. In the second space, it is the accommodation which is the best place and that will say that facilities and accommodation to ensure that we offer modern high quality environment. Yes, please move further. Uh, look at the uh, question number three. There are, uh, look at the example below, choose the word most like the one in italics. In this example, the word is registered. When you arrive at the university, you will be registered at the faculty office. Which word is closest to the registered? It means synonymous. Closest means synonymous are the with having the same meaning. So from the option B is registered is closest to the recorded. So then coming to the question 4. Uh, the look at the example below, choose the word most often used with the one in italics in this example. Please go to the lounge. Which word is most often used with the lounge? And you can see the options are training lounge, meeting 
lounge, information lounge, waiting lounge, but departure lounge is the correct answer. Next please. Yes, this, this is very interesting question in which right and wrong words are selected. Thank you for completing your application. Is it right or wrong? Before you submit your form, remember to keep a copy for your record. Is it right or wrong? The answer is it is right. In the same way, thank you for completing your application for the university before and submitting your forms. Remember to remain a copy for you. Instead of keeping, the word remain is used. That is wrong. And the same is in the third, thank you for completing your application for the uh, university. Before you submit your forms, remember to save. So remember is correct. Thank you for completing your application for university of new Bury Before you submit your forms, remember to make a copy for your record. That is also right. Next. Uh, these are further, you can see quantitative reasoning here, mostly the mathematics is given, yes please, uh, university accept honesty, the same thing is there, and here they have given the table that what will be the sequence of the questions, so we are moving to the question section. So, arithmetic 30%, information handling 40% and logical reasoning application. We will touch it later on. We have done the style side and now we are going to the quantitative reasoning. So, the question one is which of the following quantities is the largest and you can see that the C is the option. Question two says that which one is equal. So the option A is correct option and here you can see 5, 9 upon 80. The cost of a book increase from Rs. 600 to 625. The increase is percentage is, it is a small increase so you can see that you have a small figure A. Next. This is another very interesting a toy helicopter normally cost 600. Bilal bought the toy helicopter when the price was reduced by 30%. How much did Bilal save means it was 600 but now it is reduced to the 30%. So option B is 180. Uh, then bell A, B, C are ringing simultaneously at 6 a.m. Now bell A will ring at every 15 minutes, bell B every 20 minutes, bell C at 30 minutes. At what time will all the bells, three bells will ring at the same time? So 7 a.m. or option B is the correct one. The graph below shows percentage of female and male students in an engineering college and in which year male and female both are same. So if 98, 94, 2000, 2001 and uh, they have given the option 2003, 4, 5 and 6. So the correct uh, answer is 2004. Correct answer is 2004 uh, which is B. Uh, next please. The sum of 5 positive is 20, so which one is the smallest possible median? Median is always a middle figure in the data, so it can be both sides. If you start from 1, then 10 will be on the this side and 9 will be on this side. So the 1, D is correct. The mode value of data set mode means frequently occurring words. So 16 is clear. So option B is right. Next. So now we are moving uh, towards the uh, answer and two of the three question each of yes. So university expects honesty same words. Next please. 
So this is basically critical thinking. My camera will show you there are increasing number of adults suffering from hypertension in a community and there are various disabilities and other complications. So what I list three policy responses to the control hypertension. So they have given six but the best one are the behavioral change as well as the reporting and surveillance system and the third is training of frontline workers and general practitioner and medical officers in hypertension control. So these three will be the correct. With this I think we are ending our uh, this video and that video we are recording in English because the Aga Khan University centers are in foreign countries uh, including Afghanistan, Middle East, Europe, America and even some other countries and in Pakistan there are 11 centers and overseas there are 13 centers. So this sample paper will give at least a flavor or a better understanding to this. So this we are recording for the interest of the students of provinces of Pakistan as well as the overseas students and expatriate Pakistan or diaspora. They are living in different countries. I wish that Dr. Hussain Bhaskolachi will inspire you to register, appear and be successful in the Aga Khan test as well as in the MDCAT and NUMS MPCAT which is being conducted by the National University of Medical and Dental Sciences and Pakistan Medical and Dental. Now, I will request to the PMDC that local PMDC or local MDCAT test be allowed as it was practiced uh, in the past, all the recognized colleges, universities by PMDC and HEC be allowed to conduct their own test and PMDC and HEC should not uh, impose the test but it should monitor and if there is any quality question they can improve. Dr. Hussain Bhaskulaji, if you are new on this channel, please subscribe, like, share and have a comments that how you felt this uh, uh, sample test paper helpful for the understanding and cracking the AKU test. Thank you very much.